hey 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 y'all welcome back welcome back welcome back so this evening i'm gonna do a quick video on how i glittered these um coasters this is a um 4.25 by 4.25 tile from uh lowe's and i made it into a coaster i just glittered it put this um decal on sealed it and put the cork back on so let's get right into it so let's go over the material the material of course you will need a tile so like i said this is 4.25 by 4.25 i purchased these from lowe's they're eight cent each um and you can buy them by the box i think it's 16 dollars. i don't know i can't do the math in my head and i can't remember but it's 100 in a box and they're eight cent each so yeah i think that's a really great price so you need that <laughs> you will need glitter of course i'm doing blue i have got i just got an order for these on my etsy so i'm doing blue i have this sapphire glitter i purchased this one from walmart um you will need my podge <clears throat> i purchased that from um ac more i already poured my my podge in my plate so of course you will need um something to pour your my podge in and a brush to apply it um, you would need a decal, of course, if you want to put a decal, you don't have to. You would need, um, scissors. You would need, uh, tape. I like to use electrical tape because you can stretch it. To me, I like it better than painter's tape. I mean, you can stretch it. It's easier to remove. I, I don't know. I just like it better. You would need, um, an X-Acto knife. <clears throat> you would need, uh, another paintbrush other than the one you're going to use to put the um, Mod Podge on, you will need triple thick. This is not the bottle I bought my triple thick in. If you go back to my previous video, you can see the container. Um, I actually purchased it from Hobby Lobby. It's $5.99. Um, but I poured it here because <clears throat> it's like in a little jar. And once you open it, you start pouring it. And that uh, triple thick dries around the rim. It's kind of hard to get the top off once it dries on there. So I just pour mine in here. <clears throat> and you don't have to use triple thick. You can use anything to seal your glitter with. It doesn't necessarily have to be this. You will need um, epoxy. So I use this amazing clear cast. I purchased this one from Hobby Lobby. It's $23.99. This is the one of the, um, like if you if you go to Hobby Lobby, you know you can use, they always have 40% coupons. You can use coupons on everything except for the um, items that have yellow stickers. So you can't use the coupon on this, but it's $23.99. <clears throat> you will need something to measure your epoxy. I use these Anchor Hocking measuring glasses um, from Walmart. These are reusable. So once you finish, once you pour your epoxy out of here, I just clean them with um, hot soapy water and then I just let them sit in hot water until um, I get ready to use them again. So I put two teaspoons of epoxy in here because I have a few coasters that I'm going to glitter. You will need something to mix your epoxy in. I have these um, little red cups. I purchased this from Dollar Tree. It's 20 to a pack for a dollar. And you will need a popsicle stick to mix it with. Um, I have these cups. You don't necessarily have to use cups. If you can send a picture, I have my coaster sitting on top of cups. That's what I sit them on, you know, while to, to work with them while they're drying and all that. So everything can drip off. So that's what I use. Um, I also have these Lysol wipes. I just use, I have these because I'm always making a mess. <laughs> and, you know, I just use these to keep my hands clean. All right, so let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to apply our glitter so like i said i have already poured my my podge over in this plate so i am going to start with the edge the outside edges so i'm just going to apply my podge all the way around like so i'm going to do it as good as i can without getting it on the bottom because i haven't taped it um i am going to tape it off at a later point in the video but i didn't tape it for this particular part okay so now i have glitter on all four sides i mean i'm sorry i have my podge on all four sides so what I'm going to do now is 
I'm just going to take my glitter like so and just sprinkle it on. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And when you're putting a Mod Podge on, you don't want to put it on too heavy, but you want to make sure you get all the spots. You don't want to miss anything, but you don't want to put it on too heavy because, of course, the heavier you apply, the longer it takes to dry. Okay, so now that I have that on the sides, I'm just going to place my coaster on top of this plate like so. And then I'm going to take my Mod Podge and go um, and apply it on the top, all over the top. Make sure not to miss any spots because if you miss spots, then you have to put another coat of um, Mod Podge and glitter. And this is a dark color, so it only requires one coat. If you use light color, sometimes you have to do more than one coat. Make sure you get all the sides like so. All right. So once you get that on there, you're just gonna go in with your glitter, and you're just gonna sprinkle it on, making sure to not miss any areas. Voila, that's that's part that part is just that simple. So these are the ones that I have already um they have already dried. I'm just going to dump the excess glitter off. Just dump the excess glitter off like so, and then you put it back in your container because. We don't like to waste stuff. We do not like to waste material. I think I dumped these off already. Dump that one off. Let's see. Dump that one. Okay. So now we have these that's done already <clears throat> with the glitter part. <clears throat> so the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to seal your glitter. And like I said, I use triple thick. You do not have to use triple thick. You can use anything. You can use the Mod Podge um, spray sealant. They have a spray sealant. I think it works wonders. But I just, I don't know. I have tried it. It, it does, when it comes to sealant, it does a good job on sealant. I just don't like, like, I don't know. I guess I never get, like, the right coverage when spraying. I don't know. Men, men to spray, we, we just got a love-hate relationship. But anyway... So you're going to, um, I pour my, um, some triple thick over in this plate. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to seal my glitter. I'm going to go around the edges, try not to get it on the bottom. Um, but I mean, if you get some stuff on your bottom, you can always go back in and, and clean it up. So you just go around the edges. Like so. And then you just apply it on the top. So you're just you're doing this step just the same way you applied your glitter. Same, same, same. Except for this time you're not applying glitter. You're just sealing it. I said I was going to go back to the um, the regular brushes when I use this triple thick because I think it, these sponge brushes is soaking it up. 
but I haven't been to the store to buy any new ones, so. And if you've never um, worked with triple thick or anything, this is not going to make, if you just put one coat on here, it's not going to be smooth. Like with just one coat, you will have to put several coats on to get it smooth. But since we're going to fill it with epoxy, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be smooth. Just going to move my plates around a little bit. Yeah, I purchased these plates from Dollar Tree. I think it's like 40 in a box, 40 in a pack for like a dollar. Little cheap plates. I use these for a lot of things. Okay, so we're going to seal this one as well, the same way we just did. Um, you know, you, you can actually, you don't really have to um, seal these, like, before you put epoxy on. But for me, I think it makes your decal, if you're putting a decal on, I think it makes it look better. I mean, you can actually seal the glitter with epoxy instead of doing it this way. You can apply, you can apply a coat of epoxy to seal it, let that dry then come back in, you know, with your decal, and then another coat of epoxy. But I feel like <clears throat> that's too much for me. <laughs> it takes longer that way because, of course, you know, you want to let your epoxy dry and cure. Um, this triple thick would be dry in an hour, and I can go ahead and, you know, apply my decal and do my epoxy. And then <clears throat> I let it sit. Well, tomorrow's Saturday anyway, so I let it sit till Monday morning, and then I'll mail it off. But normally, once I finish it up, I let it sit for like 24 hours um, before I package it up and mail it off. And um, the this uh, triple thick, it doesn't really like give it like a a really bright shine um it doesn't some people say it dulls the glitter i don't think it dulls it it just doesn't give it a bright shine like um the really glossy finish like epoxy does i use this to uh, glitter my wine glasses i don't have the capability to um to put my wine glasses on my turner my my um tumbler spinner my cup turner so when i glitter my wine glasses i just seal those stems with epoxy i meant with um with this triple thick Almost finished with this step. Okay, so we're done with that step. So I'm just, like I said, I'm going to let those dry. It's going to take about an hour. And then um, I'll finish that up. But, however, I have two that um, I have already done. They're already, I've already sealed them. They're dry. So I have these two already. Um, and I've taped up the back already. So... For the back, when you tape your um, 
when you tape it off, right? I got too much glitter over here, so. right here this one so I have tape on it like so and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in with your exacto knife right you're gonna go in with your exacto knife and then you're going to cut cut away the excess tape like so so you I mean you can tape this up um in the beginning but you really want to tape it up before you apply your epoxy because you do not want it um you do not want to have all those drips and everything just hang i mean you could always cut that stuff off with a, with, one, with an exacto knife or a straight razor or something like that but i'd rather not go through all that i just tape it up and like so and then i just trim the excess off like that and then I apply my decal so I have this highly melanated decal um, I cut this with my silhouette cameo um, I think this is an image I got off of Google I'm not sure where I got this image from I might have bought it from somewhere I don't know but I have used this like on t-shirts and stuff somebody had actually somebody had sent me a picture and they said they wanted on a t-shirt and I I think I bought the image from Google I mean I bought it off Etsy <clears throat> I'm not good at uh, designing I could do some some designs myself and I'm no graphic designer so most of my images I purchased from other people because time is money and I would rather pay somebody you know two or three dollars for an image than you know to waste hours trying to create my own I don't know if that's just my thought process <laughs> because I do have a full-time job I do have a couple kids and a grandbaby you know I don't have time to be doing all that stuff not yet anyway so I'm just going to apply my image like so and I use the transfer tape for this I it's transfer tape that I purchased from um, Dollar Tree it's uh, it's like the shelf liner paper whatever it's called yeah, I don't use like that Cricut brand. Well, I don't use Cricut brand anything because their stuff sucks, honestly. And voila. All right, so we have that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, mix our epoxy. So if you watched my previous video, um, <laughs> you know I like to heat my epoxy up with my heat gun. I don't know if I'm actually supposed to do that or not, but that's what I do. So I'm just going to heat it up a little bit. I 
think I mixed too much epoxy because I only have three coasters ready um, to apply epoxy. So I think um, I might have mixed a little too much. So I used two, what did I use? Two teaspoons of each. You know, when you use epoxy, you have to use um, equal parts. So I used two teaspoons of each, and I think I used too much. I think it'll be a bit much, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. Because I have been in the middle of epoxy and something and ran out. <laughs> so for the epoxy, you're supposed to mix it slow for at least at least two minutes okay so that's supposed to when you mix it slow it's supposed to prevent um a lot of bubbles but um it doesn't work for me i don't know if it's the brand of epoxy that i use because this is the only brand i've used i haven't tried anything else um because i mean this works for me <laughs> I don't want to just keep buying stuff, trying stuff out, but I, you know, so this one works for me. So this is the one that I use and it does like, no matter what I do, I always have a lot of bubbles, but when I apply my epoxy, I always use gloves and I apply it with my hand. So by applying it with my hand, by running my hand over it, it helps to um, pop a lot of those bubbles as well. So, um, I don't know. Like I said, I have tried like um, stirring it really slow. I have, once I mixed it, I let it sit for like five minutes. I have even like put it in a cup of hot water and let it sit and I still had a lot of bubbles. So I just mix mine until it is clear, until it's not cloudy. And you know, I don't really worry about the bubbles because I'd be here all day if I was worried about every little bubble in there because there'd be so many of them. So, I think I have mixed it enough or it's going to be enough anyway. <laughs> it looks pretty clear to me. Yeah, I know you guys can't probably can't see all those bubbles in there, but it's very, very bubbly. Very, very. But hey, I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff. I'm not. Okay. So I have my silicone mat. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get because I have three. So I have three cups right here. And these silicone mats are perfect. So I purchased these from um, Amazon. And it's like, it was quite a few of them. I probably should have got my bigger one. But I'm going to make this work. You get a few of them in a pack. So I'm going to apply a little heat. I don't, you know. <laughs> I have seen some videos where you know, they say, oh, don't add heat to your epoxy. But I have seen videos where people do. Like when I first started making tumblers, um, that's what this lady was doing. So I always did that. And to me, it helps mix it better, especially, um, I think it's that part B that's like really thick. So when you apply heat, to me, it mixes so much better. I don't know. And... That's supposed to alleviate bubbles too, but I don't know. So, I'm going to put on my gloves. You always want to wear gloves when using epoxy. Some people say you need a mask as well. I should probably, like, really look into that. <laughs> Getting a mask. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour, pour some epoxy on like this. So, if you work with epoxy, you know that it is self-leveling. So long as you are working, long as you have whatever you're applying the epoxy to on a flat surface, um, it will level out. You don't have to spin it 
like you do with the cups, how you have to put them on the turner. As long as whatever you're working on is it's a it's flat and it's on a flat surface, you do not have to worry about that part. Okay, so I have some on there. I'm just going to I want it to get on the sides, of course. I don't want them to the touch. <clears throat> so I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to push it off to the side so it can get on the sides like so. And make sure and one thing about um using gloves you can actually feel like the spot that doesn't have epoxy on it so that's one thing about um putting on gloves and rubbing your finger across it you know because you might not be able to just see those areas but as long as you're rubbing your finger across it you can tell which area is still a little rough. Okay. And since we put that tape on, we don't really have to worry about um, this getting onto the bottom because we have that tape on there. Well, I don't want to put my finger on the bottom that has epoxy on it. That's going to defeat the purpose of the tape, right? I poured entirely too much on this one. Okay. All right. And we're going to do this last one. And voila, I think that's it. Maybe this is right there. So I really like to, um, you know, just make sure I get all the spots because, you know, you, I mean, you can always put uh, another coat on if you miss a spot. But who wants to go through all that? We want to get it right the first time, right? But like I said, you can always um, apply another coat. All right. So the epoxy is on. And I still take my heat gun and go over it you know, in case I do it with a bubble or two. It doesn't hurt to go over it a little bit. And this heat, they applying the heat with the heat gun, it also helps move the epoxy around. So 
so in case you did miss a spot, you know, that, that's okay for that. All right, so I'm going to let those dry for, um, well, overnight anyway, at least. So now we're going to, I have these that are already done that I applied epoxy on. They are dry. So I'm just going to apply the back to these. And like I said, these backs that I have, these are the are the 36 piece self adhesive court sheets. Um, I purchased these from Amazon. Um, so you just take the sticky part off. And you just stick it on. You just stick it on. Now you're not gonna ruin your furniture. And they do have these, like they have um these at Hobby Lobby. The ones at Hobby Lobby are not self-adhesive, and they are a little thicker than this, but they work the same. You can use whatever form of, of adhesive you would like to apply it to the back. And voila. Just press it down. Um, I haven't had any when I first um bought these, the first thing, the first ones I did, I think I applied E6000 with the um, you know, just to give it a little reinforcement, but the last couple sets I did, I didn't, and I haven't had any issues. No one has complained about it so far, so I'm guessing it holds up good. So, okay, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you do, and until next time, y'all have a great night.